What's up everyone, welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about best upcoming movies. Warner Brothers Pictures and New Line Cinema have unleashed the beast of horror once again, with the commencement of production on Final Destination 6, the eagerly anticipated sixth chapter in the spine-chilling Final Destination saga. The man behind the mayhem, Craig Perry, spilled the beans on the movie's kickoff, announcing the completion of day one on his social media throne. Perry couldn't resist tantalizing fans with the theatrical release date strategically aligned with the franchise's ominous 25th anniversary gathering in 2025. Hold your breath though, the exact date is shrouded in mystery, much like the ominous premonitions in the films. A glimpse into the dark abyss was provided through a tantalizing image from the set, showcasing the blood-red logo of the film. Say hello to Final Destination Bloodlines. Harry, the mastermind orchestrating this symphony of terror, declared, after a long, hard slog through the pandemic and the strikes, day one is finally in the can. To mark the 25th anniversary of the franchise's birth, we are unleashing this beast worldwide, and yes, it's gracing IMAX screens, a rare and wonderful treat for horror enthusiasts. But wait, what's this about the title? Perry addressed the skeptics head on, saying, I know, I know, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, but this is the title we've had for three years, and we're keeping it, for now. Get ready for a roller coaster of terror, because Final Destination is back, and the Bloodlines are about to be written in the darkest ink. Brace yourselves for another chilling journey into the unknown, as Final Destination Bloodlines emerges from the shadows. The epic Dune saga is poised for even greater heights with the possibility of a Dune 3, also known as Dune Messiah, entering the cinematic realm. Following the massive success of Dune Part 2's $82.5 million opening weekend, legendary CEO Josh Grode revealed in an interview with CNBC that they're more than willing to continue the franchise if director Denis Villeneuve and his team craft a stellar script. Grode emphasized the need for all creative stakeholders to be aligned and supportive of the envisioned script. He expressed enthusiasm, stating, Would we be down? I mean, of course. Anytime Denis calls, it's a yes from me. I'm excited to see what happens. I started Messiah and I was like, whoa, I'm only shooting the first movie. Let me just go back to the first one. It's just so much to take in, but there's no better hands with better care and love for it than Denis. I'm just excited to see. It's just anticipation. Whenever he is ready, he is a perfectionist in many ways and doesn't want to share things until they're ready. So I'm respecting that and waiting until he's ready. The monumental success of Dune Part 2, raking in $182.5 million globally on opening, provides a solid foundation for the continuation of this cinematic journey into the expansive universe of Frank Herbert's Dune series. As fans eagerly await the unfolding of this epic tale, the prospect of a Dune 3 holds the promise of more intricate plots, breathtaking visuals, and the continuation of a sci-fi saga that has left audiences captivated. There's a major twist in the upcoming TV series adaptation. Brace yourselves for a unique journey into the supernatural world as Deadline has broken a story on a surprising format change. The Twilight TV show is going animated. Lionsgate Vice Chairman Michael Burns dropped this bombshell, revealing that the series will be taking on a whole new dimension. He stated, We are going to go out with the Twilight series, an animated series. I think there will be a lot of interest in that. This unexpected revelation adds a fresh and exciting layer to the beloved vampire saga. While the animated twist may have been the grand plan from the beginning, this marks the first time it's been officially voiced. Initially announced in April 2023, the Twilight TV series left fans in suspense with limited details. Now the revelation that it's an animated series sheds light on the creative direction the show is taking. Despite the tantalizing news, progress on the series has been veiled in mystery. No cast has been unveiled, but with the animated format, we can expect a voice cast to bring these supernatural characters to life. In the absence of concrete details, one thing is for sure, the Twilight TV series is gearing up for a unique transformation, and if all goes well, fans might sink their teeth into the animated adaptation by 2026 at the earliest. The countdown to this supernatural spectacle begins, and Twihards worldwide are on the edge of their seats for the next revelation in this mesmerizing saga. 
Hold on to your superhero capes because Hugh Jackman might just be donning Wolverine's claws once more. Not just in Deadpool 3, but potentially in Avengers Secret Wars too. The Aussie heartthrob, who left fans teary-eyed after bidding farewell to Logan in 2017, has reportedly set conditions for his return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Rumors from the ex-scooper My Time to Shine H suggest that Jackman is ready to unleash the claws once more. But not without a superheroic stipulation, the actor has supposedly informed Marvel Studios that he'll reprise his role as Wolverine in Avengers Secret Wars only if he gets to share the screen with Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. Cue the collective gasp of excitement from fans eager to witness the epic crossover. Jackman's potential return extends beyond the confines of Deadpool and Wolverine, aligning with his own expressed desire to remain a part of the MCU. The prospect of seeing the iconic trio Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Iron Man team up is enough to make any comic book enthusiast weak in the knees. Adding more fuel to the speculative fire, Marvel Studios might be gearing up for a grand reboot of the MCU post-Avengers Secret Wars. While this MCU reboot hasn't received the official stamp, the mere possibility sends ripples of excitement through fans. Imagining a future where underutilized heroes and villains get a second chance and new actors take up the mantle from the originals. Avengers Secret Wars is set to hit the big screens on May 7, 2027. Prepare to rejoice, fans of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. The streaming giant has officially expanded the thrilling journey of Avatar with a green light for not just one, but two more seasons. That's right, a second season and a third season are officially in the works, promising a complete and satisfying adaptation of the beloved animated series. While the specifics of the plot are being kept under wraps, the continuation of Aang's quest to master the elements and confront the Fire Nation is guaranteed. Season 2 is poised to delve deeper into Zuko's complex struggle for redemption, introduce fan-favorite characters like Azula and Suki, and witness Aang grappling to control the formidable Avatar state. As excitement mounts for the second season, the stakes are set to soar even higher in Season 3. Aang and his friends may find themselves facing the formidable Fire Lord Ozai, bringing a climactic conclusion to the Hundred Year War. Fans can expect the return of the talented cast from Season 1, with Cormier reprising his role as Aang, Tarbell as Katara, Ausley as Sokka, and Liu as Zuko. Additionally, new voices are likely to join the mix, as characters from the animated series make their way into the live-action adaptation. While the exact release date remains a tantalizing mystery, eager fans are speculating a potential premiere in early 2025. With production already underway for Season 2, the anticipation for the continuation of this epic journey is building, promising an immersive and faithful live-action retelling of the Avatar saga. Amazon is beefing up its cast for Season 3. The popular Prime Video series starring Alan Richson as the formidable Jack Reacher is gearing up for another thrilling installment. In the upcoming season, Reacher finds himself on a mission for the DEA, and the newly revealed characters are set to bring intriguing dynamics to the narrative. First up is the physically imposing and intimidating character Quinn, played by Brian T. Quinn, a lieutenant colonel with a ruthless criminal edge, holds ties to Reacher's past investigations, promising a compelling clash of titans. Joining the ensemble are Johnny Birchtold as Richard Beck, a college student with a tragic past, and Anthony Michael Hall as businessman Zachary Beck, adding a layer of complexity to the unfolding storyline. Roberto Montesino steps into the role of Guillermo Villanueva, a DEA agent on the brink of retirement and mentor to agent Susan Duffy, played by Maria Sten. Daniel David Stewart rounds out the new additions as Stephen Elliott, a fresh-faced rookie DEA agent navigating the challenges of the job. These fresh faces will complement the returning stars, including Alan Richson in the titular role of Jack Reacher and Maria Sten as Frances Neagley, a corporate security professional with a shared history with Reacher in the Army's 110th Special Investigations Unit. While an official release date for Season 3 is yet to be announced, the anticipation is building as filming is nearing completion. If Season 3 follows a similar timeline to Season 2, fans might be treated to another round of Reacher's adventures in December 2024. 
Brace yourselves for a swashbuckling twist in the Pirates of the Caribbean saga. Rumors are circulating the high seas that Johnny Depp might stage a triumphant return to the franchise that made Captain Jack Sparrow an iconic character. After a tumultuous journey that saw Depp parting ways with Disney following allegations made by ex-wife Amber Heard, the actor emerged victorious in a defamation trial, leaving fans clamoring for his return. Film scooper Daniel Rickman has given fans an inside scoop, suggesting that Disney is contemplating bringing back Depp for a new Pirates of the Caribbean film. However, this return would see Depp in a supporting role, not as the central figure of the movie. This rumor adds a layer of intrigue, especially as ongoing speculations hint at a reboot with a female lead. While these whispers from the Seven Seas remain unconfirmed, the prospect of Depp's return, even in a limited capacity, is stirring excitement among fans. Disney's potential compromise to feature Captain Jack Sparrow as a supporting character or in a special cameo reflects the tug of war between loyalists and the desire for a fresh direction in the franchise. Yet there's a formidable obstacle on the horizon, Johnny Depp's own sentiments. During the defamation trial, Depp expressed feeling betrayed by Disney's decision to part ways. The winds of change, however, may be blowing, especially now that the legal storm has cleared and Depp is navigating his career back on course. As Pirates of the Caribbean 6 charts its course for a mid or late 2025 arrival, the seas are buzzing with anticipation. Disney has set sail for the world of Freaky Friday once again. A sequel is officially in the works to the 2003 body swap comedy that had us all in stitches, starring Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis. The best part? Lohan and Curtis are set to reprise their roles as the mother-daughter duo. The script for the sequel is in the capable hands of Elise Hollander, promising a fresh and undoubtedly uproarious take on the beloved Freaky Friday concept. Curtis, reflecting on the enduring popularity of the 2003 film, revealed that the clamor for a sequel persisted over the years. She mentioned receiving inquiries about it even while promoting her 2022 horror film Halloween Ends. The nostalgia and the continued interest from fans prompted Curtis to reach out to Disney, sensing that there was more to explore in the Freaky Friday universe. Lindsay Lohan, equally thrilled about the prospect of revisiting Freaky Friday, expressed her excitement for working with Jamie Lee Curtis once again. While details about the sequel, including the start of filming and the existence of a completed script, have not been made public as of yet, Lohan assures fans that the project is in the process. The Mean Girls star is eager to see how far they can take the hilarity, and with the chemistry between Lohan and Curtis, it's bound to be a riot. Stay tuned for more updates, because when it comes to Freaky Friday, the fun is just getting started, and the laughter is set to continue in this highly anticipated sequel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.